And how big of a role should the U.S. play when it comes to helping Israel and welcoming Palestinian refugees? Is that the right move? The answer to those questions really depends on who you ask. And right now, it's the Republican presidential hopefuls sounding off. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with The Hill's Julia Manchester about where the candidates stand. Where are we seeing the biggest differences when it comes to the Republican presidential candidates weighing in on the Israel-Hamas war? Well, taking a 30,000 foot view, we actually see that the Republican field is actually quite united and very much being pro-Israel um, and supporting Israel, as most Republicans, and I would even argue a majority of Democrats are. The nuances, though, is how the Americans and the, the U.S. could respond if there were some sort of a widespread refugee crisis from Gaza. So over the weekend, we heard Florida Governor Ron DeSantis say that the U.S. should not take in any Palestinian refugees. Well, you've had former UN ambassador to the uh, U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, say, uh, you know, we have to consult uh, countries like Egypt, Jordan, the UAE, some of these neighboring countries as to whether they will uh, take in those refugees. And she even criticized some of them for not taking in refugees. Uh, Tim Scott uh, also taking a similar stance to Haley, saying we need to continue to work with neighboring countries. But Trump Trump taking a pretty hard line stance like DeSantis saying the U.S. just can't handle an influx of refugees from the Palestinian territory of Gaza at this point. And a lot of this conversation has happened at the debates. Trump hasn't been at those. You mentioned that has, isn't stopping him from speaking out, but he's also getting some criticism for those comments. He is getting some criticism from those comments, um, you know, obviously from the left on the issue of ref refugees. You've seen DeSantis also get some criticism, but Trump has gotten a particular amount of criticism for comments he made regarding Hezbollah, a, a, a group that the United States considers to be a terror organization from Lebanon. Trump saying last week that Hezbollah is smart uh, in that um, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel, some someone who was actually quite a bit of an ally to former President Trump during his administration, saying he wasn't prepared and criticizing his leadership. Now, the Trump campaign has pushed back, saying he didn't mean Hezbollah was smart in a complimentary way. He just meant from a strategic perspective that they are coming at this very well prepared. Hill reporter Julia Manchester, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.